In this video, I'm gonna build analog clock with the help of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And also, I'll show you how can you add that reflection feature. Without further ado, let's start. Hello and Namaste everyone. This is Jitsar with Coding Design. Welcome to our channel. If you are new here, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. Let's create index.html file. Inside the index.html file, if I type exclamatory sign and hit that tab button, you will get this HTML5 boilerplate. Now inside the title tag, let's keep the title as analog clock using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And now inside the body tag, let's create the div with class name clock. And inside that div, I am creating another div with class name hour and let's duplicate it for more two times now instead of that hour let's change it to minute and also let's change it to second now let's save it you can see in the same folder i do have image named clock.png and also the style.css file inside the style.css file for the root pseudo class i have declared some color variables i have even there some orange color yellow color and also dark blue color and for the universal selector in order to prevent the browser's default margin and padding i have given there margin zero and padding zero and similarly for the box sizing i have given border box now let's link this CSS file. So just below the title tag, let's link our style CSS file, okay? If you have installed this live server extension in VS Code, then inside the index.html file, if you right click, then you will get that option called open with live server. If you hit that option, it would open it in your default browser. Let's adjust the screen inside the style.css file. Now let's style the body tag. I'm giving height of 100 vh. Similarly, let's give the background color. For the background color, I'm giving that dark blue variable. So in order to give that blue variable inside the var function, I'm passing that dark blue variable. Now you can see in the browser. Now let's style the day with class name clock. So for the class clock, I'm giving height of 250 pixel. And also for the width, I'm giving 250 pixel. And also for the background image, inside the URL, I'm giving that clock.png image. This clock.png image, okay. But we are not getting the proper size and the position of that image. So for that, I'm giving background position of center. And also for the background size, I'm giving cover. Now you can see that clock. Now for the body, let's give the display flex. Justify content to center. It would bring horizontally at the center. Now if you look at the final output, at the center of that clock, you can see that white circle. So in order to create that white circle, for the clock class, I'm giving the before pseudo element. Now let's give the position of absolute. Class clock is our parent. So let's give the position relative for that class clock. And for the before pseudo element, now let's give the content. I'm giving empty string. This content CSS property is compulsory for this before pseudo element. Otherwise, you won't be able to create that pseudo element. For the height and width, I'm giving 15 pixel. And also let's give the background color. For the background color, for now I'm giving white color. Let's give the border radius. I'm giving 50% so that it would make short call. Now you can see. Similarly, for the class clock, let's give the display flex, justify content to center, and also align items to center. So this code will bring you that white short call exactly at the center of your clock. You can see it in your browser. And also, let's bring this clock a bit down. So for that, for class clock, I'm giving top. 15%. In the final output, you can see we do have three needles or you can say hands. Now we need to create that. So now let's style this class hour, minute and second. This class are sharing the same CSS value. So for that I am giving comma. I'm giving the position of absolute and also let's give background color of that orange red variable. Okay, let's give that orange color. So let's copy this orange red color variable and let's paste it there. Now 
Now for the class hour, I'm giving height of 70 pixel. And also let's give the width of 8 pixel. Okay, in the browser now you can see that orange red color. Now for the class hour, minute and second, let's give the border radius. For the top left and right, I'm giving 15 pixel. And for the down left and right, I'm giving zero. Now let's give the transform. For the transform, I'm giving the translate. For the x-axis and y-axis, I'm giving minus 50%. Okay, it is not exactly at the center. So instead of that translate, let's give translate y and let's remove that minus 50%. Okay, now, yeah, this is what you want. But you can see that white circle is at the back. So for the class hour, if I give the g index of 100, And for that before pseudo element, let's give the index of 400. Okay, then now we can see that white dot or the, that circle is now at the front. Now select this code and let's duplicate it for more two times. Now instead of that class hour, let's give minute and also let's change it to second. For the class minute, let's give height of 80 pixel and width of 5 pixel. And for the G index, I'm giving 200. And for the background color, let's give that yellow color. So let's copy that yellow variable and let's paste it. Okay, in the browser, now you can see. Now for the class second, let's give height of 120 pixel and for the width, let's give 2 pixel. For the G index, let's give 300. Okay, now you can see that long needle. Now for the class hour, minute and second, let's give rotation. So for the transform property, we are giving the rotated value. So inside the root pseudo class, you can declare rotated variable and for now, I'm giving 0 degree. For the rooted, I would give that rooted variable comma zero degree. So if you are giving that comma zero degree, that means you are initially you are declaring the rooted variable at the bottom. Then at the top, now you don't need to declare that rooted variable, but I want to declare at the top. So I'm not giving that comma zero degree. So let's remove that. Now this is all the code that we need for this CSS part. In order to rotate the hour, minute, and second sign, we need JavaScript code. So let's create the script.js file and now let's link our javascript file so just above the end of body tag i'm giving the script tag and let's give the source for the source let's give script.js file so inside the script.js file let's declare the variable so i'm writing const hour is equal to document dot query selector so we are selecting the hour class and let's duplicate it for more two times. Now let's select that hour and let's press Ctrl D. You would select multi occurrence. So let's write minute and also let's select that hour and let's change it to second. So with the help of this code, we are selecting this class hour, minute, and second. Now let's declare another variable degree. So I am assigning six for the degree variable. So I'll explain it to you later. So now uh, let's declare another method set interval. So inside that I'm declaring the arrow function and for the second parameter you could give the time period that would take in millisecond something like 1000 that means one second but I'm not giving that. Now inside the arrow function let's declare the variable day. So I'm writing late day is equal to new date. With the help of this date object you would get the current time, hour, minute, so now let's declare another variable late for the hour I'm writing now here double h is equal to day dot get hours and with the help of this method you can get the current hour and let's change that h to let's give mm so that would represent the minutes now instead of that get hours let's give get minutes and also for the seconds I'm giving double s and instead of that get hours let's give get seconds so in order to rotate that hour minute and second hands in the perfect angle we need to calculate so there is some logic behind this first of all let's know more about the logic behind this calculations so in order to achieve that 12 hours you need to rotate that hour hand 360 degree so 12 hours 
hour is equal to 360 degree so that makes one hour is equal to 360 divided by 2 bill that makes 30 degree and for the n number of hours that will be equal to 30 times the hour but when you are rotating the hour hand our minute hand is also rotating okay so when you are rotating the minutes hand that do affects the rotation of hours hand okay so 60 minutes that is equal to 30 degree for the one minute that is equal to 30 divided by 60 so that makes 1 by 2 and for the n number of minutes that will make minute divided by 2 so that minute divided by 2 will be added to that and number of hours so this is the final expression for an hour hand but if you would ask like does that second hand that doesn't affect or what yeah it does affect the rotation of our hand but you can see the negligible effect now talking about the minutes hand so the logic is similar in order to achieve the 60 minute that would take 360 degree angle and for the one minute is equal to 360 by 60 that makes 6 and for the n number of minutes is equal to 6 times the minute so this is the final expression for the minute hand the logic behind the seconds is it is same as the minutes hand so you would get the same expressions for the n number of seconds that is equal to 6 times the second so this is the logic behind the hour minute and second hands now for the hour variable now you can multiply by 30 and for the minute and second you can multiply by that degree variable so in the degree variable we have declared there six so i have already explained you about that numbers how would you get that six okay now in order to rotate hours minute and second you can give something like hours that is style dot set property so inside the set property i'm giving the that rotate variable so that rotate variable that is the variable that we declare at the top initially it was zero degree and for the transform property we have given there value rotate and inside that we have given the rotate variable so that rotate variable will dynamically change with the help of javascript code now for the hour we want to rotate so now you can give that hour variable that means hh plus mm divided by 2 so that mm means that is the minute divided by 2 okay sorry guys i have given there 2 well but that should be 2 but yeah and you need to concatenate this value with degree string because that degree string you know now for the minute let's give the same thing style dot set property and for the property i am giving the rotated variable now for the rotated variable i am giving that mm variable and in order to rotate you need to concatenate with that degree string now let's duplicate this code now let's change that minute variable to second and instead of that mm let's change it to ss Okay, in the browser now you can see it is rotating but you can see that our minute and second hands they are not in the proper position it's because the transform origin by default it is at the center so if i give for the transform origin to bottom if i save now you can see this is what we want so everything is looking good but i want to give reflection effect for that clock so in order to give that reflection effect for the class clock the old version of browsers they may not support this property so if i give the prefix webkit hyphen webkit hyphen box reflect so for the first value it would take the direction if i give the left it would reflect to the left side if i give the above it will reflect at the top side but i want to give it to the down so i'm writing below and for the second value this is the offset or the distance i'm giving 15 pixel and for the third value you would be giving the image so i'm giving linear gradient for the first color i'm giving the transparent and for the second color i'm giving black color so i'm writing has triple zero and at the end i'm giving five that last digit five that indicates the alpha value of that color so that would control the transparency of that color so if i save so let's take it to the full screen if i press f11 key now you can see the second hand is rotating so when your second hand reaches to the two wheel or the 60 second the minutes hand will rotate too okay and also same goes for the hours hand Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did learn something, smash that like button. If you have any kind of queries, let me know in the comment box. Share this video if you think someone needs it. And also, if you haven't already it, hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell icon. Remember, there is always more to learn. So, keep learning.